start off by moisturizing our face and we're going to be using the this is my moisturizer right now is the Clinique dramatically different lotion and I'm just applying it all over my face and then I'm moving in with the Nivea men sensitive post balm shave this is I've used it for a while now and I love how my skin looks as a primer actually so I'm gonna start off on my eyes I normally don't do this but let's start off on the eyes I'm just applying concealer on my eyelids just to pretty much get it into one even tone I'm just going with a very light powder. This is a, sh a very light highlight shade from the Naked Basic palette. And what I'm doing is I'm just pretty much setting the concealer and making sure everything is one even color. Then I'm going with the Hoola uh, Benefit Bronzer. And I'm using a shader, I'm sorry, a this is a, a buffing brush. And I'm applying that to the crease of my eyes and a little bit up, upwards towards the brow bone. And I'm grabbing a gold color. This is from a Wet n Wild Trio palette. It's just pretty much a gold shimmery color. And I'm applying a little bit of the setting spray to wet the brush to pack on more color onto the brush. So any golden color you have in your house, any palette that has gold, will do. Then I'm going in with a little bit more of the Hoola Bronzer just to pretty much get a little more definition. And I'm applying the Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill as a highlight on my brow bone. So now we're moving on to eyeliner and I'm using a Rimmel black eyeliner and I'm just pretty much doing a small wing and applying it very close to my lash line. I'm applying falsies so I just wanna make sure that I make a good bed for them. So just pretty much a good eyeliner. And I'm applying the Ardell Demi Wispies. After the eyes are done, we're moving on to the face and I'm applying Born This Way by Too Faced and the Milani 2-in-1. I'm mixing them too. It gives me a full coverage and it definitely lasts all day. And with a beauty blender, I'm just blending it all over my face, everywhere. I think the best thing here is beauty blender. Then I'm going in with the H Rewind Dark Circle Erasers and I'm just pretty much applying it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and my chin and the side. And then you can blend it away with a spoon or with your beauty blender, whichever you prefer. <laughs> So I'm just blending everything away, making sure everything is well blended. Now I'm going with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and yes honey, yes honey, I am baking my face. I have seen a huge difference since I've been baking my face. I've seen a huge difference on my pictures and on my makeup and people are noticing. Oh, <laughs> pat in the back. <laughs> so pretty much everywhere where I want my makeup to stay in place and not come off. And I'm leaving it there for like 10 to 15 minutes so and I move on to just pretty much finish other parts of my face. Like right now I'm just pretty much doing my eyebrows just to let the powder sink in. And then I'm going in with the NYX powder foundation and I like to place this where I normally will contour just to make sure everything blends finely and there's no harsh lines or anything like that. And of course benefit hula bronzer on the cheeks on the temples of my face on my forehead and I use it to contour my nose as well then with a clean brush I like to just pretty much remove the powder and then after this I like to go in with the NYX banana powder just to pretty much give it a little more a highlight effect brightening effect actually then I'm going with the Laura Gertler Blush in Papaya. A little bit of blush just to give it a little warm. Of course, Jaclyn Hill and Becca Champagne Pop. And honey, we are going to highlight our face away. Highlight. Everywhere. Everywhere. Blend everything away, make sure everything looks good. Then for lips and finish off this look, I'm using the Kylie Jenner Metal in here. I hope you guys like this look. 